feel too hot. You look hot. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another Possession edition of Drag Me to Hell with Frankie Doom. I'm Colton. Today we are reviewing Frankie's favorite film slash autobiography, The Exorcist. That movie is super special to me. It was made in the 70s. It is the most iconic Possession movie ever. When you think of Possession, you think of the Exorcist. the Exorcist. It's about Reagan McNeil. Uh, she plays with the Ouija board and talks to Captain Howdy and eventually she ends up looking really beautiful and having skin problems and throwing up a lot of shit and floating. It's basically a giant allegory for puberty. So with that being said, plot line. I think that The Exorcist now it seems super cliche and I'd give it a zero, but since it was the original iconic demonic possession movie, five out of fucking five. The scariest movie ever. My favorite part is when she like interrupts her mom's dinner party, <laughs> starts pissing all over the floor with the yellowest, most dehydrated piss you've ever seen, or she just took a handful of vitamins, and then boom, <laughs> you're all gonna die tonight. It's just so good. It's just, uh, it was a good start. Kills. Actually, she kills Burt Dennings, which is one of the characters in the movie, but they don't show it. I mean, there's like, what, two kills in the movie? I don't know. It's the like priest actually jumps out the window, not suicide. <gasps> it's an amazing movie, but I mean, it doesn't really need kills also, because it's, a horror comes from somewhere completely different. Even with the lack of kills, the kills were good. I would still give it a three out of five. What can you predict in a possessed movie? Everything. <laughs> but this was the first possession movie, so nothing. It's just kind of like when we reviewed Black Christmas, like it would be cliche, but since it was the original, it's not cliche. And you know what's not predictable? That little girl yelling all those nasty bad words. Oh God. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. <laughs> yeah. No, and then when she pushes her mom's head down there. Lick me. Lick me. me. It's an amazing movie. So I, good. I don't think it was predictable. When I saw it the first time, it freaked me the fuck out. If you think Exorcism of Emily Rose is good, like, come on. Yeah. It is good, but. So for predictability, it will get a zero out of five. It was unpredictable for the time period. <laughs> Millennial meter. I mean, okay. seeing as how millennials weren't even born, still, still hate think, it. Uh, it is. It's a little no. It's, it's a, I think it's well. Okay, I'm a fan. It's my favorite movie, but. I've seen people that watch it now and they're kind of like, it's not scary, uh, there's too much talking, there's too much stories, so, I mean... I'm sorry that, that there's not a huge... Right, that, that's what I feel. I feel like people expect possession movies to be like regular horror movies where there's like a jump scare and like a killer or something and no, it's not. It's psychological. It's it, creepy. It's it's, I mean? a, so, it's a 12 year old girl pushing her mom's head to her vagina. That's scary. Yelling bad words. I mean, but if you expect an explosion or a car chase or something like Fast and the Furious, you're not going to dig it. No, I guess it's slow burning. So millennial meter, what, two? Yeah. Two out of five, millennial <laughs> gore. So okay. there's two kinds of gore. There is blood gore. And there's vomit gore. There may not be tons of kills and lots of gore, but the gore that there is, is really intense. Crucifix in the puss. Oh, yes. The crucifix in the pussy part was so good. Like the gore, like the, like it's all blood, uh, it's so gross. It's and then like the vomit on the priest's face and everything. And then even the part with her neck head twisting spinning. around, that's still gore-ish. Like it's, it's horrifying. Creepy. It's so, and like her doing crab walk down the stairs. And that's cool uh, and she spits out blood. So and like five, five. Five. Five out of five. All in all, I think I am with the rest of the world and giving this movie a five out of five. I can give it a 10 I would. It's a classic, you have to see it. It is a classic, it is a must see. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. If you have seen it and for some reason you don't like it, you're a millennial and you suck. <laughs> There's a reason why it's on every list as the number one movie all the time. Yeah, it's just so good, it's iconic, iconic. Like, thank you for watching our review of The Exorcist. Make sure to check out our review of Ava's Possessions and Jennifer's Body. We will be continuing with this Possession Fivefecta. <laughs> with the Evil Dead, right? Yeah, continuing with Evil Dead, the remake. I am Colton Cope. Follow me on Instagram, bro underscore Landy. I'm Frankie Doom. Follow me on Instagram, Frankie underscore Doom. Boom, make sure to follow Mannequin TV. Subscribe, like, comment, Share it, please. Like, really? Thank you. Just send us nudes. Yeah, we're on prep.